Hello everyone, and welcome to Gale's Guide to Soloing Low Rank Gen Moran. Now, soloing is actually a pretty easy process. It's nice to do if you're feeling bored or just want to watch yourself take down a giant sand whale single-handedly. You'll need a pretty simple set composed of Vangus and the leather parts from event quests. Uh, where is it? There we go. Uh, along with Anguish P. I'll put the link down in the description on how to make the set, what gems you need, and all that kind of fun stuff. So, Vangus, Hellhunter Jacket, more Vangus, Black Leather Pants, and you will need a Attack plus 7, 1 slot. You might be able to vary it, I don't really recall. If you do not have 1 slot, you're going to lose 1 skill, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Keep all the parts level 1 defense, because with Fortify, you're going to need to be able to kill yourself really fast. Now, the skills it's going to give is Adrenaline plus 2, Attack up Medium, Sharpness plus 1, and Fortify. That thing I was mentioning about the slot, if you only have Attack plus 7, or you don't even have a slot, you're only going to be able to get Attack Small, not Medium. Not too big a deal, but it's just a, a minor setback. So, we're going to sit down. Oh, did I already eat? I did already eat. My bad. Okay, well, you're going to eat the middle pages of both or the middle options of both pages to get your health on really low. If you notice, my health is 70, stamina 50. I'm sitting pretty bad. My defense is 236. I did not bring an armor charm or armor talon. For the items, you can just pause the screen because I'm not going to read all of this because that's tedious and annoying. So just pause there and here and Farcaster. So I believe I've covered everything for pre-quest. Alright, and we'll take our quest. Now, quick disclaimer. Everyone's solo of, like, the basic strategy, it follows the same premise, but everyone has little tweaks to it that are all different. Mine is different from Uchicha's, Uchicha's is different from, from A-Kits, these are all YouTubers, by the way. And it's just like, everyone kind of has their own style of how to do it. Some are better, I'm not too picky on mine. So, running in, grab the two bombs, do not bother with the binder, you're never going to need it. Upon getting out, immediately set down the bombs. This begins your first fortify. Oh, I will also have in the, in the description uh, the charts for what increases what. Like, fortify, I believe, increases by 110% of your attack with each death. So there we go, I have 1574. And run right back up there. Take a toadstool and cycle over to your large bomb plus. And there we go. Two deaths in one minute. 17, 18 is now my attack, and it will go up to 1944 once taking the might pill and might seed. Run right back up there. Uh, let's see. Take a Mega Demon Drug to get your attack back up to the appropriate level. One Toadstool. And the rest Mega Nutrients. Get your health back up to the maximum level. And it's okay if the Deluxe bite you. That's actually kind of helpful. And so it begins. There we go. Now I have Adrenaline plus 2 activated. Take a Might Pill and a Might Seed. You'll need to retake the Might Seed every 3 minutes in order to keep your attack at this level. This is a nice little trick you can do with Gen. This, work this also works in normal fights. If you gong, just begin the side ram, and then jump over those wooden boards at an angle, you can get onto them quite early. So we gong, and we jump. Ta-da! Now, I probably should have cycled to the Dragon Bombs, but oh well. He will stagger the first time back in this spine in this charge right here. The sand should knock you back. Oh, I guess it doesn't. It's going to be nice to me today. Ordinarily, the sand knocks you back and kind of makes a setback. And there we go. So that was pretty fast. back up there. The upper spine will take a few more hits than the last, uh, than the lower spine. I believe it takes one more 
level 3 charge than usual. Just because it wants to. Doesn't really have a reasoning. Kind of wedge yourself in this upper corner. It's an easy way to get these side hits well aimed. And in this hit, the spine will break. Now, if you see this little triangle-shaped hole up here, this is known as Jen's sweet spot. It will take the same damage as if the spine was already intact, which is a very nice bonus, and it, you would not get anywhere at the solo if you didn't have this area. So, place your feet sort of on that blue line of Jen's spine, if you can see that, and aim inwards towards the back wall, and just keep on charging away. This is kind of why Gen Solos are really tedious, and I don't think anyone has ever managed to watch through a full Gen Solo, unless they were really interested or asleep. Just because it's charge, charge, charge. He staggers from these every three to four hits, depending on how many critical hits you get with the Great Sword. Upon shaking, drop a Dragon Bomb and run like hell. Once he throws up his arm, and start charging again. Mess that up a little bit, but whatever. Chain off as many combos like this as you can before he gets away from you. And drop a knee and sharpen. Now see, if you notice, my attack is still up to 1944. I'm probably going to have to set it back soon. Because it'll wear off in about 15 seconds. Okay. Now this upcoming part after the ballista, uh, this is those things where I'm told I'm doing it wrong. I really don't care because times don't massively concern me. I like them as long as they're in a certain area. But whatever. So for my method, there are other ways to do it, but this is just how I do it. You drop your remaining bombs down there. And see, my attack is the wrong way now. So we take the seeds and pills again. Back to 1944. Now you're just going to hang out around these boards until you see Jen appear for the side ramp. You're not going to bind her. Don't bother with the binder. There he is. You're going to run him between the tusks, and you'll do another charge. Now run to the back of the ballista and take a might seat. As long as you stay in that back corner, the tusk sweep will not hit you. Run back to the boards and charge for one last level three. And here we go again. Now if you time your charges right, you can actually stagger him out of those rock throws. Let's see if I can do it. Probably not. But one can dream. Now this next sh hit should stagger him. Yep. As long as you get one critical hit with purple sharpness, you will stagger him in three hits. If you do not get any, you'll stagger him in four. Oh, missed that one. If you notice, you know you're hitting the sweet spot when your hit kind of lags like that. Where... See, it sort of jumps. That means you're hitting the right area. If you don't see that happen, you're aiming the wrong place. Now, despite how it looks like you're just sort of sitting here charging, you do have to pay attention a little bit to how Jen's moving. If you notice, he was just beginning the tusk sweep, and I staggered him out of it. Now you need to pay attention, because once he begins the next rock throw, you need to get off the back. You're probably wondering why I'm not sharpening. Some people sharpen, some don't. I find it's not really necessary and it ends up eating up your time because you can still get the same amount of damage in. All right, so that was the rock throw that I just staggered him out of. So you're gonna go to your far caster and get out of there.
run up to the deck, and get way back here. Now, this next part is crucial on how many hits you do. It really does vary on how many uh, critical hits you get, so you just have to guess and hope you're lucky. I'm sure there's an exact number, but I don't pay too close attention to it. Whoops. Run to the boards and begin charging. You're going to want to stagger him in the mouth rather than the back so that you can flip him on his side in the final showdown. Like that. And now I should probably run before he kills me. Okay, now on this third sweep up here, when it reaches the highest point, begin charging at the boards and hit him on his way down. Like that. This is where you can't be too excessive with the charges. I limit myself to two, like that. Now again, start sharpening. I think I did everything right. As long as you did, every did everything correctly, he should now be going to the final showdown early. Oh hey, my attack matched the time. That was cool. Final showdown. Take a might pill, or a might seed, my bad. And if you have them, cycle of bounce bombs. I just sort of have them. They don't make a big difference, but I bring them along for fun. Now, as soon as the final showdown starts, you're going to make a mad dash towards the back here. If you watch uh, his right foot, it's on our left, so over there. Pay attention to its movement. Get to the barrier. As soon as you see it start moving, you begin charging. See, last time I tried this, I ended up messing it up, so let's hope I did it right. Yep. Okay. So follow that attack pattern I just did there, and let's hope I did it right. I did it right. Hooray. You're not going to want to run to the mouth, someone had asked me about this. In the time it takes you to run around and get inside his mouth, you end up losing time and cannot get enough charges, considering you also have to run out of there so you don't die. It's just too much lost time. So stay at the side and just charge like crazy. Roll inward and begin a quick level 3 charge before he drops his chin. And see, I... I notice when he staggers like this, it's a good time to get those bounce bombs in there. I don't really know how much they actually do if they make it that big of a difference, but I bring them along just because I can. Gotta be careful with your positioning. Oop, totally missed that. This will probably not be my, uh, my best time. Probably 13 minutes, I'd assume. Okay, now hopefully he should fall over again right around here. Let him drop and get to this little area of his chin. Oh man, see I messed something up. There we go. So I'm probably gonna need like 13 minutes but I don't really care. He should die any charge now. Come on, little guy. And there we have it. How'd I do? 1321. So, nowhere near perfect, but depending on how Jen wants to behave, you'll get your solos done from anywhere of 12 minutes to 13 minutes and 30 seconds. And that is how you do a low rank Gen Moran solo. This is Gale, also known as Billy Bob Joe. I have all sorts of fun internet videos. Yay. Pretty easy stuff. I will be posting, again, links in the description with uh, damage calculations, uh, other people's videos. I'm going to put a video up of a Gen Moran explanation by a very good Japanese player. It. I will have the set links. I'll have. Uh, I guess I'll take some screenshots of the items needed. Just get everyone all informed. 
and I hope you liked it. See you next time.